Hello, my name is Marissa Longo and this is your Stag TV. Hi Stags, I'm Faith Patterson and I'm here to tell you that on February 23rd around 9.48 p.m. two people vandalized the school costing about $2,000 to $3,000 to clean up. If you know anything, please contact Deputy Moffitt. So the teacher of the month for this month is Miss Phillips. You have one teacher of the month. Oh gosh, uh, I feel like I'm excited. Yay! Yay. Feel it's happy. It's <laughs> it's um it's good to be feel like I'm a part of things. You know, I feel like getting to be teacher of the month lets me feel like yeah, I'm really like. Not just a sub. I would say the biggest thing is to communicate. So most teachers are totally willing to work with you as long as you're open and communicating with them. Um, the other thing is don't procrastinate to work. It's way harder to catch up from being behind than it is to do stuff a little bit at a time. Sure, yeah. So I am a uh, Spokane native. Um, graduated from Ferris High School, way on the South Hill. Um, went to Gonzaga for my bachelor's degree, Whitworth for my master's degree, uh, because I have expensive taste. <laughs> and uh, this is my first year, first full year teaching. Um, I did my student teaching at University High School in Spokane Valley. I think my favorite part about being a teacher is that something happens at least once every day that makes me laugh, inevitably. And I think the fact that there's always something new and that, you know, it's, I'm here for the students really ultimately, and it's that building relationship and the fun and the sense of community that you get to build, as well as seeing kids learn and grow that really does it for me. March 11th was the one year anniversary of schools closing due to COVID-19. Let's check in on Ms. Demarest and see what she was up to that day. So it's really easy for me to answer because I had just flown to Washington DC with my mom because we were going to go and watch my sister perform at the Kennedy Center because she is a dancer and it was a big opportunity for her. And so we flew into DC on March 11th. Um, on a plane from Seattle, which is where the outbreak was the worst at the time. And we ended up like wiping down our seats. No masks at that time yet, obviously, but we were just very careful. And we, we knew that it was kind of um, starting, but we uh, didn't know that, uh, how severe it was, and we didn't find out until we got in that night. Freshman, have you ever wondered what seniors thought about high school? Well, here's a few seniors and what they think. So I would say for, I guess, ninth grade year, I did not know what I was doing at all. Just, I didn't. But I guess you learn on the way and you do have teachers there to help you. I recommend being a part of as many clubs as possible, like drama, be part of drama, that was really fun. I'm part of ASB, that's really good. You get to do all types of projects and leadership stuff. And leadership the club also, that's a good class to take. My experience, uh, my high school experience overall has been really positive. Um, I think it's really important to be active in the different activities that we have here because there's so much you can do. I think my experiences have been made a lot more positive based on the activities that I chose to participate in. Uh, I wish I had done more of them, of course, because you can never be doing too much. Uh, yeah, basically that's it. Like, I feel like everybody gets here and like they don't know. 
And then like you kind of like get exposed to like if you do any sports or like gatherings or clubs or whatever, you kind of get exposed to different older types and new generations as well. Um, and then your class is really annoying, and then you guys kind of mature or whatever. Um, so I guess I would just say like I've definitely gotten the full experience, but I mean I feel like everybody younger than us is not the same as we were when we were like a freshman. So it's kind of there's COVID, so that kind of sucks, but. I mean, pretty good, I'd say. I mean, I missed out on Fugitive, which was just past the last year. But I got to play my saxophone for two years. And that was pretty cool. Happy St. Patrick's Day. And I know what you're thinking, and it's not Patrick Stewart. All my plans are to just stay home and be with family. If it's snowy, I'll ride my snowmobile. Well, if they have the if they have the parade like they usually do, we'll probably go to that. But otherwise, I'll sit on the couch. What day? Is it? It's a Tuesday, right? Nothing. Probably be here. We're green. Eating a lot of food. I eat chocolate. The parade. <laughs> it's just, if there's not a parade, then there's no celebration. Blue. Oh, yes, blue. Um, well, traditionally, St. Patrick's Day is actually my little brother's birthday. So usually it was oh. uh, traditionally like a family day where we would have a birthday dinner for him. And Green. Green, obviously. Green, of course. We're finally able to play sports again. Here's how football, soccer, volleyball, and cross country went. Hello, fellow Stags. We're weak for the sports team. As we thankfully opened up for, as we thankfully have opened up this month. On March 6th, we had a football game and a volleyball as well. March 10th, there was a soccer game. On the 13th, there was a cross country and another volleyball game. The mar on March 15th, JV football played, scoring 32 versus zero against Malco Lake. Our Stags football team won 16 points against, against Freeman. Here's Diego with that. Uh, I'm Diego Vasquez, I play football and soccer. So, are you glad that the sports are reopened? Yes, I am. Um, I think many people are, are glad that sports came back. And uh, what does practice look like? Uh, very difficult with wearing a mask and everything, but we make it the best and we just try to have fun with it and not try to think about it too much. And uh, how did you feel about the last two games? Or the games that you played? Um, I think it's, you know, I think it's been awesome. You know, getting back with my friends and, and uh, just making memories because I think that's what we needed because it's been a year since we were almost out of school, so. And as for our volleyball team, on the same day, we won 25 points against 12 points against the Newport Grizzlies. Here's Paige Thompson on that. Um, I'm Paige Thompson and I play volleyball. So are you glad that sports uh, have been reopened? Yeah, definitely. And what did the practices look like? Um, at the start, we couldn't really do much, but like now we still have to wear our masks and stuff like that, but it's pretty much back to normal. And how did you feel about the games at the park? Um, good. I don't like really wearing the mask during it just because it's harder to breathe, but they're super fun. During the game on the 13th, we lost against Riverside Rams. It was 19 to 25. Soccer, our varsity team lost one to three, and our junior team three to five. We'll get them next time. Cross country, Riverside and Deer Park ran against each other. Riverside varsity team ran three miles under in under 16 minutes. 
And here's Avery with more insight on that. Um, I'm Avery Hudson, and I do cross country and track. Are you glad that sports uh, have been reopened? Um, yeah, because it gives me something to do, like instead of just sitting around. Yeah. And what did practices look like? Um, just three days a week go on a run, two days a week a workout. And how did you feel about the game that you were part of? Um, I don't know. Oh, she did, she did. I don't know. Um, I feel like it felt good to be like part of something, so, yeah. If you want to stay up to date, please consider subscribing to our channel, which is Stag TV. But don't be confused with another t with another channel. We get that a lot. It's DPHS. Sophomores and juniors, link career applications are due April 1st. If you're interested in doing things like freshman orientation, teaching lessons for the freshman class, lunchtime mentoring, citizenship awards, planning spirit week, and other fun activities, get your applications from Ms. Demers in G125 and turn it in before the deadline. Side effects may include building leadership skills, improved confidence, relationship skills, new friends, a sense of belonging, the warm and fuzzies of giving back to the community, improved resume and college applications, and free college credits with Lake Cruise Leadership Class. Now that's it for me, Stags. Have a wonderful day and let's send it back to Marissa. February 20th to 27th was National FFA Week. February 20th to 27th was National FFA Week. Our FFA members spent the week giving thanks to the kind staff who helped them organize their events and to the FFA alumni by doing things like holding their staff breakfast. And the whole FFA team was showing off their FFA spirit that week. At our Deer Park chapter meeting, the members colored in a puzzle representing the diversity of our chapter. Each chapter also sent a box of goodies to one another, Secret Santa style. Here's what we sent to Springdale. Now on to your monthly dose of history. Hello and welcome to This Day in History. In 432, St. Patrick, aged about 16, is captured by Irish pirates from his home in Great Britain and is taken as a slave to Ireland. In 1897, British boxer Bob Fitzsimmons knocks out American champion Jim Corbett. In 1965, Beatles announced their film named Eight Arms to Hold On To You. And that's been This Day in History. I'm Marissa Longo and this has been your Stag TV. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Deer Park Stag TV. mortals, it is I, the man, the myth, that one guy who edits videos, the beloved comic relief as some would say, ah, you even spelt my name wrong. Welcome back. Today I take the daunting task of informing and filling your minds with knowledge, with interesting facts I have exploited from other websites. In the late 1980s, 
Pepsi briefly owned 17 diesel submarines, a cruiser, a frigate, and a destroyer, all because of a $3 billion trade agreement with the USSR, in which they exchanged soda for military equipment. It was considered unlucky to be the third person to light a cigarette during World War I. Soldiers thought that an enemy would see the first light, take aim on the second, and fire on the third, killing the soldier. During World War II, German fighter ace Franz Stigler noticed a US B-17 bomber was too damaged to fight back and escorted it back to Britain instead of shooting it down, risking execution in the process. Many years after the war, both pilots reunited and became friends. This one's a very wholesome one. And if I measure the voltage at the output, oven can last much longer than a bright disc. We have more than five basic senses. Hearing, feeling, seeing, smelling, and tasting. Other senses include the ability to detect magnetic fields as well as chronoception, the sense of time passing. When you remember a past event, you're actually remembering the last time you remembered it, not the event itself. If you lived in a basement all of your life, you would have lived 90 billionths of a second longer than those living on the surface. This is because where the pull of gravity is stronger, the slower time moves. Time moves faster upstairs. So living down in your mom's basement actually provides some benefits for you. In water, chimps will drown. Fingers prune underwater, not because of them absorbing the water or washing away the oil, but because of an evolutionary trait caused by the brain to enhance the grip of your fingers underwater. In the next 30 seconds, you will, on average, produce 72 million red blood cells, shed 174,000 skin cells, and have 25 thoughts. The reason why paper cuts hurt so much is because the cut often bleeds very little, or not at all, leaving the skin and pain receptors open to the air. I hoped you all enjoyed learning some new facts, but my quest for knowledge is not over. In fact, it is only beginning. Hearing, feeling, sealing, sealing. To kickstart the arc.